Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 22nd through the 28th. We are just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead? What do we have for Gemini? Walking away. Walking away from something. Oh, on the bottom of the deck, we have journey. So you are walking away from something. Turning your back. It looks like this is a good move. It's a very positive move. I think you've been waiting. And I think, you know, this is like saying goodbye to the past. Looking back, saying goodbye. Um, going in a new direction. Look at the blossoms. It's a, Wherever you're headed, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's time of closure with this nine it equals nine. So there's is some you're closing something. You you and, and, I, and I feel like it's like I don't I don't care. I'm not going back. I think that this is looking back, but but going anyway. So I do feel like uh, you're walking away. Obviously, you're walking away from something um, for your own peace, for your own happiness. You're being guided. I feel like there's a guiding light here. You're being guided to walk away. Or you've been guided to walk away. Well, family wishes come true. So there's a wish that is coming true. Horseshoe, good luck. Wishing well is good luck, and so isn't the horseshoe. So something very good is happening, and I think it's happening because you walk away from something. Okay? Maybe you're walking away from a family situation. Maybe you've been praying for some sort of happiness or praying for something. Obviously, there is some sort of wish that is coming true. Luck is on your side. This is destined. So whatever it is that you have walked away from or that you are walking away from, it is absolutely meant to be. Okay? If you think about the Wheel of Fortune, which is all about luck, and it feels like this is a meant-to-be decision, one chapter of your life is ending. I feel like you have made the decision to walk away, and luck is on your side. Luck is on your side. So something is going to be turning out in your favor by the looks of things. Um, you know, and I have to just tell you, somebody could be walking away from you. And this is a, absolutely a blessing in disguise. Okay? It is a blessing in disguise if that is the case. Um, a wish is being granted. A wish is being granted for you. Put it that way. What do we have for Gemini this week? I think you're headed right towards happiness by the looks of things. Moving. Some of you are moving. You're moving on. You're leaving behind the trouble, the troubled waters, the, 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 uh, turbulence. You're leaving it behind. You're definitely going to a better place. This is taking a new approach. And somebody may be, uh, rescuing you as well there could be some sort of rescue here i don't know i do see you going to a better place traveling you're traveling you're 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 taking the steps that you need to take i see a i, see, I feel like we i feel like we have a woman and a child here that are making some sort of escape or they have made an escape if if that is the case there there could be somebody that is is going to be helping you cuz it looks like there's some sort of help here um, somebody could also be traveling to you or there could, somebody could be obviously going in another direction. So somebody is going in another direction and wherever they're headed, they're leaving the trouble behind and they're headed towards peace and serenity. You know, it's definitely when they get to where they're going, it's going to be very, very peaceful. You're leaving all the troubles behind, put it that way. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody knows their value. That's what's happened. This is this is it. The, the Nine of Pentacles is a self-sufficient individual that knows their value. That has all the skills to take care of themselves. This is somebody that is, you know, very skilled, very competent, very capable of success. 
and does not need another person to complete them. This is, I mean, when I get the Nine of Pentacles, I think of the Empress in the Major, just like the Empress in the Minor. Okay, this is somebody that knows their value, knows their worth, that has worked really, really hard to obtain success. So obtain success. And now, you know, it's, it's definitely, I don't, I don't need this trouble. I don't need it. I'm good. So I feel like, I feel like you're definitely moving away because you're stable, you're solid, you're secure, you have everything you need. The most, most of all, you know your value. Okay, this is somebody that uh, knows their value. Oh, they got two of them. Ace of Cups headed right towards love. So you're headed towards emotional fulfillment. You may have some fears. You may have a. You may have some sort of anxiety or worry. You know that you're not making the right decision. You are making the right decision. You need to focus on your health during this time. You need to focus on your self confidence. I I see your that you know your value, but you may be lacking self confidence during this time. Um, you may be also leaving behind an individual that was very forceful. This person was forceful. They were controlling. They were manipulative. They threw tantrums, you know. They may have uh, had a big ego. You're leaving behind somebody. They may have been, even been investing in another person. Okay, whenever I get the Queen of Wands in reverse, I think of another woman or another man. This is somebody that, you know... Uh, needs constant attention maybe that's who you're leaving behind and i think that you need to let go of your fear you are making the right decision you are you deserve love and i feel like you're receiving an offer for love you're going to be now this starts with self-love though and i feel like i feel like you've been in a, in a in a fearful position where you've been fearing you know that you're never going to get love or whatever there is love here there is love here i think that you need to let go of your fears you need to let go of your worries. Work on you right now. You know, you may you may know your value. Now you got to work on your confidence. You need to work on your image, your self image. You know how you view your your image. Okay, you're capable. You're successful. You're strong. Hold your head up high. Hold your head up high. So anyhow, you may, you may feel a little discontent and worried about love. You know, there is love. There is love when you get to the place that you're going. There absolutely is. So anyway, you, you may be receiving an opportunity for love, you know, once you get there or after, you know, you're at peace. But I feel like there's a lack of self-confidence. Or you may have a self-image problem that you need to work on. Um, oh, page of cups reversed. Oh, goodness gracious. Now, the Page of Cups reversed is tears, rejection, sadness. It may be, it may be uh, sad. You may be making a... It's sad to depart. So this could be a sad departure. Uh, the Page of... You could be dealing with somebody that is very jealous of you this week as well. The Queen of Wands can symbol somebody that is jealous and malicious. Okay? You, there is some sort of protection here with the Ace of Cups as though though so i think that you are protected but i do feel like you do have somebody here that is jealous they have been rejected um you may be rejecting them or they they're malicious you have somebody here that is malicious this person is immature and childish um but you are protected with the well card and the in the good luck card the horseshoe and the ace of cups you walking away is the best decision that you can possibly make I feel like you are dealing with an individual that is very jealous of you. Um, they've caused a lot of animosity. They um, are immature. They're emotionally immature. This person is about to get their bubble burst because I feel like you, your wish is you're stable, you're solid, you're secure, you're, you're self-sufficient. And I feel like whoever this person is, they are um, they're going to get their bubble burst or their bubble has been burst. Um, Queen of Pentacles reversed. You're definitely dealing with somebody that is extremely jealous of you. Extremely. And they've been causing trouble because the Six of Swords is trouble. That's getting out of a troublesome situation. I think that you are headed in the right direction, but whoever you are with or dealing with is very emotionally unstable. They are very insecure. They have, they have a self-image problem. 
They are malicious, they are vindictive, they are very, very forceful and controlling. This person has a big ego and they're trying, I feel like this person is, is trying to cause you trouble. They're try, gonna try to cause you trouble this week. This could be a friend, could be a family member, uh, may have something to do with a child, it may or may not. Whoever this person is, they are emotionally immature, they are emotionally unstable, and they are jealous as hell. They are so jealous of you, okay? Um, this person is about to uh, get some sort of, uh, I feel they may be having a loss. Maybe, maybe, I mean, what is, what is going on with this person that you are dealing with? Oh, God. Three of Swords. Whoever you're dealing with is is in pain. Okay, they're in some sort of heartache. They're in. They're grieving over something. Uh, I, and I think that they're grieving over your stability. You know, they're grieving over you leaving or something like that. They're they're in some sort of serious pain. Whoever you're dealing with, and they are emotionally unavailable. They they're not very intuitive. They're not very grounded. Whoever you're dealing with is angry. They're angry and they're hurting and I feel like they're reacting to their feelings. So you're going to be dealing with somebody that is emotionally unstable that is uh, probably causing you trouble because they're in so much pain. They're in so much pain over a previous hurt, previous heartache. They're, so they're acting in a vindictive manner, but you are protected. You are. You are protected. Interesting. Ooh, hero font reverse. Now the hero font reverse is under a lot of social pressure. So having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. Somebody that is not very, uh, doesn't believe in God, doesn't believe in a higher power, not very spiritual. You're dealing with somebody that uh, is being controlled by their ego. They're being controlled by society and they're under a lot of social pressure to present themselves as somebody that they are not. This person is going to be experiencing some sort of pain. They are. They are. They're going to be experiencing some sort of rejection. They're going to be getting a rejection because they're not stable. This, this is a loss of some sort. Whoever this person is that is very vindictive and forceful. They are under a lot of social pressure. They're, they may be facing a broken relationship. They may be, maybe they've been in a broken marriage. They're embarrassed. This is disgraced. This person is disgraced. They are disgraced, and that's why they've been causing you problems. You're walking away from somebody that... Uh, is emotionally unstable. They are emotionally insecure. This is somebody that is hurting and they can't do the right thing. They cannot do the right thing. And it feels like they're going to be experiencing some sort of emotions this week. Eight of Cups reversed, avoiding. Somebody is avoiding, they're pretending, they're pretending that they're happy, but they're not. They're, they're in a situation where there's a lot of emotional disappointment. They're pretending that they're happy. They're pretending that they're stable. They're pretending that they're secure. They're, they, they are very, very, uh, I feel like we have somebody here that is depressed. They are extremely depressed. They're depleted. They may even be ill. Eight of Cups reverse, staying in an emotionally disappointing situation. There's a lack of emotional growth here. Whoever this person is, you're walking away. You're walking away from somebody that is malicious and they pretend. Very, very fake. Unrealistic. You're dealing with somebody that is very, very fake. And luck is on your side.
This is letting go. You can relax. Somebody's been trying to hold on to something because of social pressure. But this is definitely letting go. Oh my God, there's some sort of injustice here. Unfair treatment, lies. Somebody, and this person, somebody may be getting some bad karma. They may be, they may, they may have a, a situation with the law that doesn't go in their favor. This is somebody that may be breaking the law or has broken the law or hasn't been held accountable for their actions until now. This person is now going to be held accountable for their actions and there could be some, there could be the law that is stepping in. You are definitely dealing with somebody that lies, that has lied a lot. And I feel like this person is going to be experiencing some sort of heartache or grief or separation. This is heartache and grief, three of swords, after a loss. So whoever you're dealing with is probably going to be experiencing a loss because of their lies. Definitely. This per it feels like this person is doing something malicious and it's not going to work in their favor. It's not going to go in their favor. So whoever you're dealing with, I feel like they're going to be getting some karma this week. They're going to be having, and I feel like, and this is a huge loss as well. This person is not stable and I feel like they're not very healthy either. And they've been pretending. They've been doing, it's really, really, really fake. And it almost feels like somebody has lied and maybe even lied to the government or lied to, you know, I don't know, lied to some sort of establishment. And it feels like there's some sort of enlightenment that is coming. Anyway, I feel like you, your decision to go your own way is a very, very, very good decision. Whoever you are dealing with is definitely jealous, angry, unstable, emotionally immature, um, unhealthy. You're dealing with somebody that is extre lazy, extremely lazy, not healthy at all, very much focused on their image, but their image is fake. It's not real. So this, this person's image is going to be revealed in some way. There's been some sort of unfair treatment. There's been lies. There's been an injustice. And I feel like you're going to be moving away from this whole situation, removing yourself from the situation. And I feel like you're headed towards love with that Ace of Cups. You're going to be getting an opportunity for love. And I feel like you're going to be lacking that confidence because of this person that probably, you know, made you feel insecure because they were insecure. They made you feel like you didn't, you weren't valuable, that you weren't lovable. Bullshit. Wish being granted. So if you've been wishing and praying for justice or karma or whatever, your prayers have been heard. Okay? Your prayers have been heard. You are protected. I knew that you were. A wish is being granted for you this week. I feel like there's been an obstacle and there's an obstacle that is going to be removed. You're free. So anyway, a wish is going to be granted. A sincere wish is going to be granted. You are protected. There's been unfair treatment. Whoever you're dealing with, it's not going to go in their favor. They have been pretending. They have been fake. And they've been trying to cause trouble for you. And, I, and you know how karma works. 
it's like a boomerang okay what what you put out is what you get so I do believe that we have a troublemaker here that is gonna get exactly what they deserve you are protected and that is what I got a sincere wish is gonna be granted this week an obstacle is gonna be removed good luck